In this video we're going to be taking a look at adding and subtracting mixed numbers and you will need your Go Math book out and turn to page 265, your math journal and also a pencil. And the essential question that we are going to unlock is how can you add and subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Now it is important to remember what we learned about adding and subtracting just regular fractions. We'll take what we know and apply it to help us learn something new. So let's take a look at that problem on page 265. Okay, first of all, it says Denise mix one and four, -fifth ou four fifths ounces of blue paint with two and one tenths ounces of yellow paint. How many ounces of paint did Denise mix? Now, the first thing we need to figure out what operation should you use to solve the problem? Addition. And also, we need to think about do the fractions have the same? denominator. We have a 5 and we have a 10, so the answer is no. Okay, so the first thing we can do is estimate. We see 1 and 4 fifths. That can be rounded to 2. Why 2? Because that 4 is really close to a 5, making it a 1, and then adding that to the whole number. So 2. And then we have the 2 and 1 tenth. That 1 tenth can be rounded to 0 because we know that 1 tenth is really close to the benchmark of 0. Okay, so actually we are just doing 2 for the whole number. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. Pretty tough there. Okay, now the second thing we need to do, we need to find a common denominator. And what we can do is we can use the common denominator to, to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at my denominator of 5 and I'm pretty sure 5 can go into 10. I'm just going to do a skip count here. Write the multiples of 5, 5, 10. Okay, and right away I see the 10. Whenever I'm writing my multiples and then it's the other fraction, that is the least common denominator. Okay, so I need to think about what do I do to that 5 in order to make it a 10? I multiply it by 2. Okay, so my denominator changes the 10. My numerator is multiplied by 2 as well, making it an 8. However, my whole number does stay the same, Okay, which is a 1. Now, my 2 and 1 tenth, that can just stay the same because I did not change my denominator at all. Okay, Now, the first thing I need to do is I add the fractions together. 8 and 1 is 9. Add the numerators together. Denominators stay the same. 1 and 2 is 3. Okay, so I have 3 and 9 tenths. I cannot reduce or simplify 9 tenths anymore. Okay, so I can see that my answer, Denise mixed 3 and 9 tenths ounces of paint in all. Okay, a couple questions there at the bottom of page 265. First of all, Explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. And what we can say, we know the answer is reasonable, 3 and 9 tenths, because we can look at my estimated answer, which is 2 and 2 gave me 4. That's close to that 3 and 9 tenths, so I do know that the answer is reasonable. Okay, and I want you to write that down, okay, in your own words for number 1. Also, what other common denominator could you have used? We could also have used 50. In other words, if we multiplied by opposite denominators 5 and 10, 50 could be used for a common denominator as well. But even though we would use 50 as our common denominator, it would still be reduced or simplified down to 9 tenths for my fraction. Okay, now we're going to take a look at a subtraction problem. We have 4 and 5 sixths minus 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, it is important to know that you can also use a common denominator to find the difference of mixed numbers with unlike denominators. So the first thing we want to do is estimate. We take that 4 and 5 sixths. Okay, we know that 5 sixths is very close to the benchmark of 1. We can change that fraction into a 1, regroup, making that 4 into a 5. And then 2 and 3 fourths, that can be regrouped or rounded to 3 because that 3 fourths is close to 1 adding that 1 to the 2 making it a 3 so we have 5 minus 3 for rounding the fractions 5 minus 3 is 2 okay so that's our estimated answer now what we need to do we need to find a common denominator we need to use common denominator to write the equivalent fractions with like denominators so what I'm going to do is just the multiples of 4 and 6 
then I'll find the least common denominator this way. So I'll start out with 4, and then 8, 12. Now I know that 6 is a multiple of 12, so or I should say 12 is a multiple of 6. So we have 6, and then 12 there, aha. We have 12 as our least common denominator. All right, so we're going to change that 6 into 12. We need to ask ourselves, what do we do to that 6 in order to make it a 12? We multiply by 2. Okay, so 6 times 2 is 12. We multiply a denominator by 2. Therefore, we must multiply the numerator by 2, which gives us 10. We leave the whole number the same. We do not touch that whole number at all, just the fraction. What do we do to 4 in order to make it a 12? We multiply that by 3. So denominator is 12. We know that. 3 times 3 is 9. N whole number stays the same. Now we subtract 10 minus 9 is 1. Denominator stays the same, which is 12. 4 minus 2, then subtract our whole numbers, is 2. Okay, so once we have done that, we've had our equivalent um, denominators and all that. We've subtracted. We, we cannot simplify 1 12th at all. So we have 2 and 1 12th for the final answer. Now taking a look and knowing why the answer is reasonable. Okay, we know the answer is reasonable because our estimated answer was 2, okay, and our final answer was 2 and 1 twelfth. If our estimated answer was 25 and our final answer was 2 and 1 twelfth, we would have to either check our estimated answer or our final answer. Okay, now let's take a look at that next section here. We have 7 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 3 fourths. What we will do, just find the least common denominator here, 5 and 4. I want you to pause this video and I want you to find that least common denominator of 5 and 4, then we'll continue to work together. So pause the video now. Okay, so I can see that my least common denominator is going to be 20 here. You could either list them as multiples or even multiply them by opposite denominators would actually give you the same thing. So we need to think about what do we what do we do to 5 in order to make it a 20? We multiply by 4. So since we multiplied the numerator by 4, we'll multiply the denom I'm sorry, we multiplied the denominator by 4, we have to multiply the numerator by 4. 4 times 2 gives us 8, and you leave that whole number the same. The next 4 and 3 fourths, multiply that 4 by 5 in order to get to 20. So since we multiplied the denominator by 5, we must multiply the numerator by 5, giving us 15, and once again, that whole number stays the same. Once we have equivalent fractions, or like denominators, I should say, we can add 8 and 5. 15 gives us 23. So 23 over 20. Okay, now I know that's an improper fraction, so what I have to do, I have to change that to a mixed number. Okay, so we have 20 into 23. The quotient will be our whole number. And the remainder that we have here, that's going to be our numerator. And then the den denominator will stay the same. So we need to regroup. So the remainder is 3. That will be our numerator. Denominator will stay the same as 20. And we'll regroup that 1, bring it right over, right over to that 7. Then add 1 and 7 gives us 8, plus 4 gives us 12. And I'll write that 12 and 3 twentieths for the final answer. Okay, I want you to work through this next problem all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play. I will have the answer for you. Pause the video now. Okay, you can see I have my answer of 6 and 1 20th. 20 was my common denominator. 
15 and 6 is 21 over 20, giving me an improper fraction. So to change that improper fraction to a mixed number, I divided my numerator by my denominator, giving me 1 with the remainder of 1. The remainder was my numerator, the denominator stayed the same, and then I carried, or I regrouped my whole number, okay, adding 1 and 2, giving me 3, plus another 3, giving me 6, for 6 and 1 twentieths. Okay, I want you to do these two problems all by yourself. When you're finished, you can press play, and I will have the answers for you. So pause the video now. Okay, here are my two answers, and make sure your work looks just like mine. And um, if you're having issues with this, you may need to rewind the video, but we have 3 and 7 tenths and 4 and 5 sixths. Okay, I just want you to do these two problems, and when you're finished, you can press play, and I'll have the answers for you. So pause the video now. Okay, here are your two answers. Make sure your work looks just like mine. You have the same exact answers as me as well. Okay, I want you to work through this test prep problem. When you're finished, you can press play. I will have the answer for you. So pause the video now. Okay, your answer is letter C, 8 and 1 tenths miles. And going over the essential question, how can you add and subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators? You can see the answer right here on the screen. And this concludes the video on adding and subtracting mixed numbers. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.